In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, it's my pleasure time to be with you, gentlemen and girls, again. Uh, as you know, we talked about in the previous time about uh, Mega Goal 4. This is Mansour Al Garni, I'm English supervisor here in Riyadh. It's my pleasure time to be with you, and I'm going to teach you Mega Goal 4, Unit uh, 6. We have What Would You Do? What Would You Do? We have the first uh, section, we have listen and discuss. I, I want you gentlemen and girls to open your books on page 30, uh, 82 and 83. Would you mind please open your books on that page, okay? In order to, yes, please open your book, please on that page. Okay, gentlemen, this unit is going to talk about uh, vocabulary, function, grammar, listening and pronunciation, reading, writing, and for meaning uh, and functions. All of these sections, gentlemen and girls, you are able to study it and it's easy. Be with me, inshallah, it will be easy for you. Just pay attention to me and concentrate it and focus and you have to bring your box with you. You have to bring your pencil, our pen, and the piece of paper. Then you have to write with me, inshallah. At the end of the lesson, you will be understand everything, inshallah. Just be and keep in touch. Okay, gentlemen and girls, here we have many pictures for this unit as I discuss and listen. We have many listening activity today, and we are able to listen for them. Okay, what I want you look at that pictures. What, uh, what is this and what is that? What is that and this? This is in the test, in the final test. This is in the airport, okay, and this is in the lifeboat. And what about this is, this is a final result. Okay, here we have many, many questions, gentlemen, here. What do you think the word moral and ethic means? And also, have you ever been tempted to do something that wasn't right in your life did you do something in your life in your life and did you tell your father and mother about that one did you uh, uh, keep it uh, as a secret you don't tell anybody about that one this is our uh, unit today is talking about what would you do if i wear you for example if i wear you i can do that okay if you are wearing uh, if you are wearing these people what would you do what will you do what are you going to do are you going to tell the truth or are you going to keep it close secret and you don't talk about it to anybody? Okay, anybody? Okay. This is what is about, uh, we call it the title, moral and authentic. And by the way, gentlemen, you have to tell the truth. Even if you did any mistakes, boys and girls, don't, to, uh, don't do anything is not good, okay, in your life. Try to talk to your father and mother about that things, okay. You know we have to listen to this gentleman, okay, after one Six. hour. Okay. What would you do? Di dilemma, dilemma one. One, listen and discuss. One, Russ is at the airport to catch a flight. He is on his way to his brother's wedding. His flight is about to leave. As he runs through the terminal to his departure gate, an elderly man suddenly slips and falls in front of him. The man cries out in pain. Russ knows that if he stopped to help the man, he would miss his flight. If he missed his flight, he would miss his brother's wedding. Russ runs past the man as if he hadn't seen him. Would you have done what Russ did? Okay, gentlemen, this is dilemma is talking about one problem. The first problem is talking about a person he wants to catch his uh, flight and his gate, and there is old man in front of him and they fall down. Okay, then he see or uh, she see that man. Okay, can you help or can you go? This is the main. Okay, what would you do? What would you do? Are you help or not? This is the main point for this one. Okay, the second Unit this, six. The second this line. What would you do? The second slide about the test. Okay, let's listen to it. Unit 6, history test. The test will determine whether extremely important history lost it. 2. Mike is taking an extremely important history test. The test will determine whether he passes the class. Mike has been studying for the test day and night. He feels well prepared, but when the test is in front of him, Mike's mind goes blank. 
he can't remember anything. It is as if he had never studied. Sam is the best student in the class and is sitting right next to Mike. Sam's paper is close enough for Mike to see the answers. The teacher is not paying attention. Mike knows that if he copied Sam's answers, the teacher wouldn't see. What would you do if you were Mike? Yes, in this case, gentlemen and girls, what would you do if you were in Mike? My, this is Mike and this is Sam. Okay, Sam is an excellent student and Mike is, a, he is an excellent student, but he, he studied all the day and the night, but when he come to the class, okay, everything is vanished, is, everything is done, finished, gone, okay. He doesn't, his mind is blank, bl uh, empty, blank. Okay, it, no, nothing there. Okay, what should he do? Okay, if you were in his position, what will you do? Are you going to cheat to look for some uh, test paper? Or are you going to keep yourself away? What will you do if you were in his case? Of course, cheating is forbidden, and, and uh, it is uh, for, uh, forbidden for all, of pe all people, okay? And you will not do it at all. Don't do it. If you are thinking to cheat from your friends, boys and girls, this is not a good way. Please keep yourself away, and you have to study. Study hard, and may Allah be with you. Don't do something like that, gentlemen. Unit 6. Okay, we have to go to the other slide, which is talking about the boat, and there is a boat for nine person, and one is should be drawn out. Unit six, Sam's eight. Three. Dilemma three. A ship strikes an iceberg, and ten passengers crowd into a lifeboat that is only intended to hold nine. The lifeboat slowly starts to sink because of the extra weight. If it does, all ten passengers will die in the freezing water. The captain considers his choices and decides to force the weakest individual out of the lifeboat. He reasons that if he did nothing, everyone would drown. This way, only one person drowns, and this person would have drowned anyway. Others on the lifeboat feel that this choice is morally wrong. They say that if he did nothing, then even if none of them survived, at least no one would be responsible for anyone's death. If you were the captain, what would you do? Yes, gentlemen, as I told you before, don't cheat from each other. It's forbidden and it is prohibited. Don't do it at all. This is not good. Okay, study hard and inshallah you will pass. Don't care about that. Okay, but study. Cheating is forbidden and prohibited. Here we, we have, um, we are teaching morality, okay, the ethical, uh, ethical and morality and the moral, okay, we are going to teach you, okay, this is a kind of moral, okay, if you do something bad, it's not good in your life to do something like that. This is talking about the dilemma, uh, dilemma three, which is talking about captain, he has the say, uh, life, lifeboat safety, okay, this one, and there is only for nine, nine person. And there are 10, okay. One of them could be out, could be go to the, into the sea, into the ocean, because he will, he will die, he will die at all. Okay, if you were in the captain, what should you do? Only nine you have to take with you. What will you do with them? Okay, you can help, please help. This is a good technique you to help. Sick. Okay, what about this one? The last one here we have, this slide is talking about gentlemen and girls. It is talking about, uh, Unit six a mistake. passengers will die in the free drown. This way, only one person drowns, and this person would have drowned anyway. Others on the lifeboat feel that this choice is morally wrong. They say that if he did nothing, then even if none of them survived, at least no one would be responsible for anyone's death. If you were the captain, what would you do? Yes, what would you do if you were the captain? Four. Mariana has struggled in science class for years. This year, to help motivate her, Mariana's parents have told her that if she receives a B on her report card, they will help her buy a cell phone. But Mariana has done poorly in the class and knows that her final grade will be a D. The day her report card is due to arrive in the mail, Mariana arrives home from school and is greeted by her parents with hugs and smiles. 
she takes a look at the report card and sees that her grade in science is an A. Clearly, this is a mistake, but Mariana can get away with it if she doesn't say anything. The cell phone is only part of the reason that she's tempted not to say anything. She also dreads the idea of seeing the pride on her parents' faces vanish. What would you do if you were Mariana? Yeah, what would you do if you were in Ma Mariana? Okay, gentlemen and girls, okay, we have here, we have uh, this the dilemma is talking about, or this is the fourth problem, which is, uh, you know, in the final, in the final test, okay, that Mariana did uh, uh, his, her final test, okay, but she didn't do it very well, okay, and she think that, uh, she thinks uh, that she will get uh, D, okay, and uh, the result it, it sent to her house, okay, by getting A. And her fathers and mothers greeting her and hug her, okay. And uh, she knows the result, okay. But there is a mistake in the in the final report, okay. What would you do if you were? Do you tell your father and mother about the correct one and the truth one, okay, that you get D, not A, because A. This, there is a gift for referring to A, okay? You, they will bring a cell phone or gift or whatever. What will you do if you wear hair? What will you do? Okay, this is, we are, as I told you, gentlemen and girls, okay? We are talking about morality, okay? Moral things, okay? Unit 6. Okay, here we have many proverbs, gentlemen. In Arab words, we have proverbs. Proverbs, what do you mean by proverbs, gentlemen? Proverbs and we call it wisdom, okay? Or saying, okay? What do you say? Okay, a lot of people on Arab countries, okay, they like this kind of verb, uh, proverbs. They call it, for example, here, all shines makes the desert, okay? Arabic proverb. And ask the exper uh, experienced uh, rather than the learned. Okay, for example, uh, teach me, uh, don't give me a fish, just teach me how to fish, that, like that one. Also, uh, a bird uh, of a feather flock to, uh, to, uh, uh, to each other, okay. This is, we call it uh, a uh, proverbs, okay. All of these, we can find it uh, in your Unit book, six. okay. Hair language builder, gentlemen, okay. The main building at the, at the airport. What is, what do you call, gentlemen? What do you call the main building, uh, the main building at the airport? We call it terminal. Terminal one, two, three, four, whatever, okay. And we call it international terminal or domestic terminal at the airport. We are talking about the hall that they can getting, uh, you can go and take the uh, boarding bus and you can send your luggage. We call that one terminal, okay? This is the building at the airport. Number two, a large block of frozen water floated, uh, floating in the ocean, a iceberg. Iceberg. You know the the accident for uh, for Titanic. Okay, it was happened by iceberg. Okay, this is we call it iceberg. That along of mountains. Okay, along of mountains, which is from ice. Okay, we call it iceberg. Okay, number three, gentlemen, we have here. Uh, go down underwater to sink, go down to dive, to go down to sink, to go deep, enter to the bottom of the sea. Okay, next. To die underwater because of uh, being unable to breathe. That means to drown, to die, to drown. Okay, to sink also, to die and to finish. Your life will be finished. Okay, here we have the last one we have here. To try hard to do something that is very difficult to struggle. Struggle, conflict. Okay, struggle or conflict. We call it conflict or struggle, gentlemen. Here we have gentlemen also and girls. Girls, I want you to start from by girls today, okay? Can you answer this, please, okay? Can you do it as quickly as you can, okay? I want to fill in space, okay, by using and choosing some of these gentlemen and girls we have to choose and to vote it according and which is there is agreement between the verbs and the, the, the situations also. Number one, here we have dread, uh, motivate, attempt, uh, morally, and responsible, vanish. Okay, complete this one by choosing the correct one. Who is blah, blah, blah for uh, cleaning uh, up the, ma the mass? Okay, who, who what? Who motivate, who responsible, who? But there is there is a consequence and cohesion between you know consequence and cohesion between these gentlemen and girls. We have a consequence and uh, cohesion. Okay, 
and we have we call it uh, a relationship okay responsible okay for cleaning up this mess okay number two my mother's cookies cookies always blah blah what is yeah vanish moment after she takes pro out from the oven okay number three the beautiful weather helped motivate motivate me to go outside and to get some exercise by the way gentlemen and girls open your books on that page okay page 80 and 82 and try to answer please write it write it write all the 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 answering go here gentlemen and girls please please write it okay number four here we have morally okay people should feel that it's morally wrong to buy stolen gold okay the next one i read uh, I read uh, here we have I read taking final exams next week. Yeah, I read that means I'm uh, fright, frightful, okay, or frightened, okay, uh, fair, uh, fearful, okay. I'm, uh, I'm afraid, afraid of, okay, about uh, the final exam here. We can't say, okay, the last one we have I was tempted to watch uh, the film on TV, but I made myself study instead. Okay, here I'm trying to show my father and mother, okay, that I'm studying, but I didn't study. That means I'm attempt. Okay, next gentlemen, here we have some questions about the uh, previous uh, listening activities. It, it is talking about here why Rossi is at the airport. Why? Why? Why do you think that Rossi is in, he was in the airport? Why? Because he wanted to catch the flight and the uh, gate in order to be with his brother in the in the wedding okay this is the answer of this question we can say he's lying to his brother's wedding he's lying to his brother wedding okay what does rossi decided to do does he help or not he doesn't help he doesn't help you see he doesn't help the man but Harris to catch his flight do you think gentlemen and girls do you think this is good uh, good good uh, good way do you think this is a, a good behavior Th do you think this is a good attitude to do it with people not help no i am advising you gentlemen we talked about advising i'm advising you to help people whatever you have any problem you have to help people because this is our islam this is our uh, faith this is islam teach us okay to help people okay to help people in positive things, not in negative. In positive things, we have to help each other. But in positive things, in something is good, but in something bad, don't help at all. Keep yourself away from this action, gentlemen and girls. I know that you can help in the final exam, okay? But this is not a good way, gentlemen and girls. Don't cheat at all, okay? He is considering cheating on his test because he, he cannot remember the answer. Okay, according to Mike. What is my considering doing? Why? Okay, as I told you, gentlemen, he trying to look like this. He trying to look like this and to cheat. Do you think this is a good way to do it in the final exam? Don't do it. Please, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it at all. Don't cheat at all. Study and inshallah, you will find a good result. That's all, gentlemen. Cheating is not good. As you see here, cheating is not good. Okay, here we have about the what is the problem on the lifeboat there is only enough space for nine person as i told you gentlemen nine person only that they can pass only one should be drawn into the ocean but because the iceberg damaged and crashed the boat okay the last question gentlemen and girls here we have i need one of you to answer it as quickly as possible okay and evaluate yourself gentlemen and girls here we have why is mariana attempt to not tell the truth about the science grade the science grade is d why mariana didn't tell the truth why because she wanted to collect the cell phone okay the cell phone okay she wanted to collect the uh, smartphone okay from her fathers and also her fathers and mothers okay greeting her okay she will be able to buy a cell phone and parents will be proud of her they proud with her because she get uh, she gets sorry she get, she got she got and she gets we can say she gets and she got she got uh, a mark okay now we have to come to the end of uh, of the lesson this is uh, mansoor al garni it's my pleasure time to be with you and thank you for 
لسننج والسلام عليكم